everybody, it's Karen McCullough, and I've got a question for you today. It's about remote working, working from home. Can working from home hold you back? That's the question I'm asking today. If you're interested, stay tuned. Boy, some of us just can't wait to get back to work. We can't wait for that face-to-face, that interaction. While others others really want to stay home. They want to work remotely. They enjoy the flexibility of it. They enjoy that they can work anywhere at any time. And they're actually saying that if we go back face-to-face and it's mandatory, I'm not going back because I like working remotely. And you know what? It's been great to have that option, right? But... The question is, if you work remotely, can that really be holding you back from success at work? Because studies are showing, yeah, that remote workers have sometimes have a bias towards them, a bias towards people who are working at home and they're not face to face, they're not at work, they're not interacting. So what is a bias actually? Well, a bias is that there's kind of a negative feeling, a negative connotation of not really that you're working, even though you're probably working harder, there's just this feeling that you're really not connected. Uh, I know this for a fact because one of my clients that I've been working with, I'm a, one of my coaching clients, has been working remotely for her company for, for several years. And she's noticed that... Um, Even though they love her work and that she's included in so many things, she didn't get promoted. And she's thinking that maybe she needs to show up more. When this whole idea of us going back to work uh, comes into effect, she's going to show up. She's going to be there face to face because she feels like she can interact much more with leadership. And you know what? She Maybe she is on to something. Maybe she's really catching on that remote working actually can hold you back a little bit. Um, if you think about it and you listen to people like Jamie Diamond, who's the CEO of J.P. Morgan Chase, he wants his people back at work. He said that he wants that innovation. He wants that connectivity. And he wants to be able to continually grow his culture. And if you think back to Steve Jobs, Steve Jobs, who was like the king of technology, said, we have to be at work. We have to be with each other. He said, it's those conversations around the water cooler that really spark innovation. So that's the question right now. What are you going to do? Because young people today, this is also a generational thing. Young people, millennials and Gen Z, at first, they wanted to be face to face. But the longer they've been home, the longer they've been remotely working remotely, the longer they have been comfortable uh, in their situation and being able to work anywhere at any time, they don't want to go back. They really like it. So that's the question for some of you younger people. If you're thinking about your career and you're thinking about getting ahead, can working remotely hold you back? I don't have the answers. You know what? All of this is an experiment right now. We're all learning. This is like an on-we-go process of of examining and learning what's going on. But what I'd love is to hear from you. So think about it. Put some of your ideas down in the comments and let's get a discussion going. And let's really figure out if working remotely can actually keep you from getting ahead and maybe even leave you behind. Hey guys, it's Karen McCullough. Thank you with another lesson from the road.